school teachers are being credited with an incredible fossil discovery. They uncovered the jaw of a mastodon along with a pair of tusks dating back to the Florida Ice Age more than 10,000 years ago. As Fox 13's Jordan Bowen reports they found them while diving in local waters and think there could be more down there. You can hear the screams of excitement through their scuba masks. They couldn't believe their eyes. They had just uncovered one of their best finds yet. All of a sudden, we're just kind of swimming around, and I wave my hand like this, and the silt reveals just the two teeth completely whole sitting right there in front of us. The jaw of a mastodon, and not far away, two tusks, fossils at least 10,000 years old. I heard screaming, I heard hooting and hollering. I look over to the side, and there's Rick with these two massive teeth. Henry Sadler and Rick Cochran are both teachers at Admiral Farragut Academy and frequent dive partners on the weekends. These tusks, unfortunately, are really fragile. You can see where they're peeling apart away right They made here. the discovery while diving in local waters on private property. The mastodon animal is similar to that of a woolly mammoth. As Cochran explains, finding tusks like these in such great condition is nearly unheard of. Sometimes you can have things that literally will turn to dust right before your eyes and things that can be very hard. This was somewhere in the middle, so we got really lucky with it. Even the tusks, uh, ivory doesn't fossilize well. The ivory tusks you see from woolly mammoths and stuff, they tend to come from Siberia or the permafrost, not so much our Florida River. And so when we find them, they're very fragile, very hard to get out. It's why they used zip ties to help keep them intact. The tusks are now being stabilized, which means they're using chemicals to make sure they'll be preserved for years to come. As for the teeth, they'll need to wait a few more weeks for them to fully dry out before they can begin the stabilization process. We really pride ourselves on, on giving the kids opportunities that they wouldn't find anywhere else. Once the fossils are stabilized, Sadler and Cochran plan to display them in the classroom, giving students an up-close look at history, dating back more than 10,000 years. We use that as a hook to kind of bring them into science and talk about other things around fossils. Sadler and Cochran are planning their next dive in the same area very soon, confident there are more fossils waiting to be found. Reporting in St. Pete, Jordan Bowen, Fox 13 News.